So tell me, you, you, do you feel <coughs> disappointed as well by this action by the organized labor not to go on this strike because, in their words, government has met a number of their demands. Not all, though. Mm. Feel disappointed, and uh, I've expressed my <laughs> revulsion about this matter to some of them. To be very honest with you, I've had too many people talking about uh, this issue should not be politicized. I agree uh, up to a point, but let's be clear. What is politics? Politics is about making decisions for and on behalf of people. Partisan politics is about belonging to MPP, NDC, Afrofronto, and the rest of it. So if it is about the partisan part of it, let's put it aside. Mm -hmm. But let's come to politics as making decisions for and on behalf of people. Now, in the 1992 Constitution, it's very clear, and I'd like to premise my conversation on that. Mm -hmm. Article 36 is about directive principles of state policy. And it's indivisible. Anything that is directive principles, you cannot divide it. Stay focused on it. Article 36, 9 says this. The state shall, it has no discretionary view on it, take appropriate measures needed to protect and safeguard the national environment for posterity and shall seek, to, shall seek the cooperation with other states and um, bodies for purposes of protecting the wide the wider international environment for mankind this is the extent to which you can I can read many other parts of the law the constitution and the law for it now organized labor is the only preacher by law and it was deliberately done we have various unions like utag nat and so forth and so on. Then we have various other unions like maybe ICU, mm -hmm. we have Public Services Workers Union and so forth. They affiliated to TUC. Some may not affiliate to TUC. We may have other national unions and other centers like Ghana Federation of Labor and so forth and so on. So we put together all of them under the law at 651 to ensure that we have an organized body, an entity that can pull themselves together as a force to protect the constitution of Ghana and to ensure that the interest of their members and the wider society is protected. What I read, it talks about wider international, you know, uh, to enable mankind to be protected. It's because we share water in some cases with Côte d'Ivoire. And therefore, if we pollute our water and it affects Côte d'Ivoire, it becomes, that, that is the issue that this is talking about. Mm -hmm. Now, back to the substantive issue. The issue is about, why, why are we talking about this issue? One person, one executive authority, the President of the Republic of Ghana, is vested with all minerals in our water bodies, even salt, everything is vested in the executive president of Ghana. The president of Ghana is to ensure that he account for everything, including the minerals. And therefore, accountability is demanded on the president. If the president is not accounting for his stewardship, it becomes a question of, you are not being responsible for what we have given you to account for. <clears throat> Organized labor is the only potent body, aside parliament. If parliament were not to be uh, sometimes operating under the canopy of partisan considerations, where NDC and MPP are divided on issues, and they are mindful about the, inter the supreme interest of the 34 million people, regardless of particular, because when you fresh water, it doesn't matter whether you are MPP or NDC. You are drinking like the ladies were complaining about. 
they are teachers. Therefore, NAT has a responsibility. NAGRAD has a responsibility. Consent teachers have a responsibility. UTAC has a responsibility because they are essentially teachers. And <clears throat> at this organized labor meeting, it is not to be acting as if this is a super executive and this is not an executive. One person is to facilitate that process of a meeting. Therefore, giving everybody opportunity to speak on why we should go in and demand for what we want to ask for. Because not just the question of being threatened, but we are virtually drinking poison minute by minute. Therefore, we are either deliberately trying to cause some kind of... Uh, uh, people are trying to commit suicide. We are trying to commit suicide by drinking the water, knowingly that this is full of mercury, lead, and so forth, and so on. So that is what we were expecting organized labor to you know, ensure that they hold government's feet to fire and ensure that they reverse all these things, this business of sending soldiers. And I have a lot of respect for their soldiers because they are doing a good job. But this is not a solution and can never be a solution. We'll get there. It's just a partial something. So in effect, what I want to say is this. We, we have been failed as a result of this uh, unfortunate misstep taken by organized labor. They failed you. They failed. I mean, they failed. The generality of the government yes, people. Of, of, when I say failed, it means all of us. They failed themselves because they will drink water. The wager is feeding over close to over close to six million people. Wager is feeding people. The people are drinking water there. So those in Accra, we are part and parcel of Ghana, and therefore we drink water. We eat, ve we we consume vegetables and so forth and so on. And this water, this this Galamse issue is a major, major, major threat to all of us even to the extent of some international communities are being threatened. So I think it's important that organized labor uh, rediscover themselves, pull themselves together, go to a meeting, apologize to one another, apologize to all of us who are beneficiaries of their, their actions. This is not about pay increase. This is not about salary uh, uh, increase. This is purely about death, life and death matter. And it's more important than any other subject matter today. Mm. And therefore, I think it's important we, we maybe we'll go into the, the nitty gritties of what can be done as a solution. Then we can, we can, we can prescribe Indeed, but you it. see, that's, this sense of disappointment, um, you hear organized labor, their, their point of defense has been that they sent some, some demands to government. A number of them, in, in their view, they say have, have been met. And so there was no reason, really, to, to go on the strike. Well, the most important demand of all the things he sent, the most important is a temporary ban on the Galamse operations. And this business about Galamse, talking about community mining, talking about small-scale mining, artisanal mining, and so forth, I'm not too much interested in those those kind of uh, nomenclatures. The issue is about illegality. Mm -hmm. People are issued license, but they are, they are promoting illegality. And, and therefore, I think it's important to, 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 to ensure that we understand and appreciate where we are with this matter and, and take steps to resolve it. So organized labor, all that they've said, we've heard them. What the president is attempting to do, we've seen it, but the most important is to have a temporary ban so that we can then organize ourselves as a nation and have a national conversation on small-scale mining, Senior, responsible small-scale mining. When you talk about the illegality, let me support you with the law. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Article 268 uh -huh. of the Constitution. It says, any transaction, mm -hmm. contract, or undertaking involving the grant of a right or concession by or on behalf of any person, including even the government of Ghana, mm. to any person or body or persons whomsoever described for the exploitation of any mineral, mm. water, mm. or other natural resources of Ghana, 
made or entered into after the coming into force of this constitution shall be subject to ratification by parliament. Exactly. And there is a, a clause, a clause two that says parliament may, by resolution supported by the votes of less than two thirds of all members of parliament, exempt. Uh, from the provisions of clause one of this article, any particular mm -hmm. class of any particular class of transactions, contracts, or undertaking, mm -hmm. and we have purportedly misinterpreted uh, clause two to neutralize clause one, mm -hmm. so that minerals commission has reserved a total and complete right to give concessions without recourse to ratification of parliament. Mm. And all such contracts that have not come. In fact, uh, clause two, uh, by interpretation, means that on contract by contract basis, we may, as parliament, mm -hmm. uh, dispense with that uh, mandate to any authority. But it doesn't mean that we will give omnibus authority to an entity to be issuing licenses without coming to parliament. So all such licenses granted without the ratification by parliament are void, or avoidable. So and therefore, see. anything that they are flouting about as concessions here and there, they have all those that have not been ratified are avoidable contracts and non- You mean they are illegal? They are illegal contracts. So, so as long as it hasn't been ratified, ratified by Because the, ratifi the, 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 the passage of the, uh, the mandate is upon a, one application or the other. And we don't see the applications come to us for us to say, as for this one, Minister of Commission, do it. They have misinterpreted clause two to mean that they have an omnibus mandate to, to continue up to the conclusion of the compendium. And therefore, we as parliament, we are not even called upon to even ratify. So most of these concessions have gone under the hand of the executive of the uh, Minerals Minerals Commission. Commission. And, and I that think that we have to correct ourselves as a nation. Just but, to offer additional information. Okay. Uh, earlier this year, the Honorable Ranking Member on the Lands and Minerals Commission, now he was then the uh, a committee, he was then the Deputy Ranking, Honorable Suhini, asked the mm -hmm. Minister to, to bring to Parliament uh, all lines, uh, mining licenses that have been for ratification or notice of them. When the minister came, he brought some and left the major ones, especially those for small scale mining. So if you, if you listen to the proceedings last week at the committee, the chairman directed the Mincom CEO, uh, Senior IC, to, as a matter of urgency, bring to parliament all those existing licenses that have not been ratified or information regarding their ratification or non-ratification, which he has promised to do. So I think Parliament is also waking up to his responsibilities constitutionally as a result of this matter. So just to add mm. that these matters are being looked so, into so, now. So, so yeah. Yeah. Then, what you conclude? Yeah. No, no, no. Further no. into <laughs> Article 41, Clause <laughs> F. Clause F. We as a country are enjoined to protect property, public property, yeah. and expose yeah. combat uh, and combat misuse of waste of public so, funds so, and all, property. A lot of illegality has and been happening. And that clothes us with capacity to go to court yeah. to even Enforce. compel yeah. uh, the state to act. Yeah. Yeah. So, I see. So well, so you I, haven't done that. It, but why? why, 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 with, why uh, let me so, make so it. So it is about poor accountability. Yes. Yeah, but what you want we are the, not right. accounting for our stewardship. Yeah. Beginning with the executive presidency and if it so in some jurisdiction, which is the bill? Yes, in, 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 in some jurisdiction, we would have asked organized labor should have been asking for the, the government to be even di dissolved. They could have asked that mm -hmm. because this is about life and death matter. We are drinking poison, deliberately drinking poison, and and we are sitting down pretending as if nothing is happening. This is life and death matter. And therefore, the solution is a temporary ban so we can have a national conversation on the basis of what Andy had just uh, read to us. So a that conversation. A temporary ban on all forms of. All, all forms of, except the 
the Anglo gold and so forth and so forth, that are not creating any problem for us. Yeah, I have okay. given you 41. Yes. That closes you with capacity exactly. to go to court for an injunctive orders to stop all those who no, have not been rectified. But the point is that uh, you illegal. see, no, 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 